One is the loneliest number. Shake the dust from off your feet. There are, among the writings of the world, some strange admonishments. It was the custom of the Jews when they returned from foreign lands to shake off even the sand of their feet for a testimony against the rejectors of their God. So also Jesus expressed to your disciples and to us that if we are not received with your gospel, we are to immediately leave that place and do not return. You have prepared over thousands of years the hearts of millions to receive you. All of us love the darkness as to hide our sins, and yet a repentant heart is given to many, that we might cleanly welcome the faith you bestowed to us. All we have friends, even that we are not much bold, who act as though they do not even hear our voice. So deeply do they dive back to their darkness. In dependence upon your, your strength, O Lord, we yet go out among them. We do not amuse them with curious manners. But as the Baptist strongly say, they must repent of their sins and be baptized. That is, the Spirit will remove their refusing spirit and the dusty sandals of discipleship may walk among them and be heard. Others do despise and reject your holy gospel, fearing the light, and so we are to depart from them as an unworthy, unworthy people. We ask, what of our own children? their deafness and the lives they are living. The family of the high and living God is an abundance of people, all flawed. Among these are our sinful children, the children of us also who sin against you. We are saved, not so much individually, but as a body, the children of God clustered in a thousand generations. We disdain our own children as to men they as when they are mildly blind to your person and yet we have no claim to judgment we and they were born to your promise from all eternity their love is very shyly formed so as ours yet we are of your covenant made to a thousand generations, and literally these have passed 13,000 years, that the plight of Noah was 5,000 years from creation, 6,000 years before the coming to earth of Lord Jesus. You have commanded that we not be numbered, neither the tribes of Israel, nor two or three gathering, nor a certain number of persons being put for an uncertain number of generations. One is the loneliest number, and two the loneliest number since the number one. How many shall there be? Billions of persons said to be innumerable, sands innumerable, stars without number, myriads of angels in festal gathering, camels, locusts, evils, all are said to be without number. Great as you are, you are but one. And this, the saving of us, are each the loneliest number, are claimed by you, who solely loved us and shall have given your whole life upon the cross for any one of us.